fat guys have compiled a list of severe weather reports across the nation. And we are in the top three of the most severe weather reports in, 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 in the United States, Missouri and Kansas, number two, number three. So we were just beaten by Texas, which remember Texas is three to four times larger than Missouri and Kansas. So this is very impressive. This takes into account wind, hail and tornado reports. So definitely an active we uh, weather year. and We're definitely seeing that in our statistics at the moment. Storm chances are continuing uh, by the end of the week. Luckily, we have a very calm next two days. No chance of rain at all, but they will increase Thursday night to Friday. Friday looks to be very likely with thunderstorms and heavy rainfall. Saturday and Sunday, a couple chances Definitely not a washout or widespread event for us, so don't go canceling any plans at the moment, which is good. Here's a look outside on a power light apartments camera. The sun, the glow already trying to come out and it is quiet. Most importantly, we've got some nice quiet weather storms staying across Texas and Oklahoma this morning. That's where severe weather warnings are in place. But then we also have a little bit of rain coming in central Kansas as this area of cloud cover will increase from the west. I think it's going to make for a really pretty sunrise this morning, so we'll Watch for that. Otherwise, a few scattered clouds may be possible. Yes, this computer model may be overdoing it as far as precipitation goes. You can see at three o'clock there might be a couple of these light sprinkles south of I-70. Sure, can't completely rule that out, but it has to overcome some dry air. So I think it'll be tough for a lot of that rain to make it to the ground. Then by Wednesday morning, a little bit of high clouds starting to roll in too, but we're also mostly dry tomorrow. So look where our temperatures are jumping. We're going to see highs in the low 80s. Really nice when we have a northerly breeze with this warmth and this dry weather. It's actually going to keep humidity very comfortable. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy if it's your first day of summer. Maybe the kids are out of school now. It's going to be fantastic to go to the parks, walk around the neighborhood, things like that. 81 Independence Lee Summit, 83 Lawrence and Atchison, you are at 82. Tomorrow, a couple degrees cooler as we're at 79 feeling so nice. Humidity is still low and, and comfortable. And then on Thursday, this is where we're going to introduce those late day thunderstorms and this activity will be increasing a bit more from the west as our next frontal system starts to approach. It takes a little while. We could get some scattered showers ahead of the main line, but by Thursday night into Friday, here we go. Really heavy rain is expected, so this is a little concerning as far as flooding issues go. I haven't seen any sort of issues as far as severe weather is concerned, but when we go into Friday with how long and how heavy this rain is going to be shaping up, we may have to watch for our local rivers, streams and creeks, those poor drainage spots in the city Friday morning for the commute and some heavy rain may be expected. So we'll watch that as we round out the week. 83 Saturday, 86 Sunday. Yes, there's those storm chances, but again, not a washout, so don't go canceling plans. It's just going to really heat up for the first full week of June.